Dr. Scarborough Center. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is truly a pleasure to rise in the House today in support of Bill C-6, for this is very much a bill that speaks to the heart of why I am so proud to be Canadian and what makes our country the envy of the world. In my first speech in this House as the Member of Parliament for Scarborough Centre, I spoke about how my husband and I came to Canada from Pakistan about 16 years ago to provide better opportunities for our children. Before we moved here, there was one big thing we knew about this country, and that's why we came here, the Charter of Rights and Freedom. If you talk to people around the world, they know two things about Canada. We love hockey, and we are the country of the Charter. This is a document that says every Canadian and everyone within our borders have certain inalienable rights, the right to associate with whom we wish, communicate what we wish, and worship how we wish. The Charter speaks to choice, and it speaks to equality. That whether we are Canadian by birth or by choice, we all are Canadian. I live in Scarborough, one of the most diverse communities in Canada, where many people have chosen to settle and build a better life for our families. And during the election campaign, I heard from many families who were deeply concerned by some of the provisions in the previous Conservative government's Bill C-24, particularly concerning where the so-called two-tier citizenship provisions, which allows government ministers to strike dual citizenships, or those eligible to obtain one of their Canadian citizenship. Let me be clear, Mr. Speaker, terrorism is abhorrent and should be punished to the full extent of the law. But let me be equally clear, terrorists belong in jails, not on a plane overseas. This is a matter of principle, Mr. Speaker. We cannot create two different tiers of Canadian citizenship and we can't ship our problems overseas for other people to deal with. That has never been the Canadian way. My husband, Salman, and I have two sons. Umad is 17 years old, and Usman is 15. They are like many Canadian children. They love basketball and the Toronto Raptors and were two of my best door knockers during the campaign. Usman. <laughs> Usman was born here in Canada, while Umad was born just left before we left Pakistan and came here as a baby. They have much in common with their classmates, Mr. Speaker, but there is one difference. While Usman was born here and Umad was not, both are still dual citizens, and both could be stripped of that citizenship under Bill C-24. Mr. Speaker, how can I tell my two sons that they are different from their classmates. They both feel Canadian to their core and love this country and all it stands for deeply. Should Umayyad and Usman really be treated as second-class citizens? This is wrong, Mr. Speaker, and it goes against the fundamental values of the country they both grew up in and that has shaped them into fine young men they have become. That's why I was so proud not just as a Canadian a candidate, but as a mother, when the Prime Minister came to my campaign office for a rally during the first week of the election campaign and promised to repeal this provision of Bill C-24. My sons and many more sons and daughters heard the Prime Minister reassert those core Canadian values when he told us that a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. And with Bill C-6, None of our children will ever again have to feel like second-class citizens in the country they love and grow. Our diversity is our strength, and we are stronger not in spite of our diversity, but because of its diversity. Mr. Speaker, there are a number of other worthy elements of Bill C-6 that I would like to draw the attention of the House to. Of particular interest to my constituents in Scarborough Center, are the changes to the language testing requirements, returning the age required to pass the language testing to age group 18 to 54, 
encouraging family reunification is an important goal of this government, including parents and grandparents. And these provisions will make a major difference in this regard. I know many Filipino and Gujarati families in Scarborough where the grandparents have come to Canada to join their children and grandchildren are, and are making vitally important contributions to both our society as well as our economy. One Filipino family in my neighborhood, the grandmother comes to take the kids to school first thing in the morning and then takes them back home afterwards and looks after them into the evening. In the summer, she takes the children to summer camps and on activities and outings around the city. And by taking care of her grandchildren during the day, she allows her son and her daughter-in-law to both work full time, contributing to our economy and allowing them to provide more opportunities for their children. And I know one Gujarati grandmother who looks after six grandchildren, Mr. Speaker. I don't know how she does it, but these grandmothers and grandfathers and the ch child care they provide, as well as the emotional support they provide to their children are invaluable to our economy. I agree, Mr. Speaker, that new Canadian citizens should be required to meet a certain level of English or French proficiency. But do we really want to force the 64-year-old Filipino grandmother pass a demanding language test, I would have rather have her grandchildren teach her while they are at the park. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I would like to touch on the various changes to residency requirements to applying for Canadian citizenship that are made by Bill C-6. This bill will help Permanent residents become Canadian citizens sooner by reducing the time they must be physically present in Canada before being able to apply from four years to three years. Applications will also receive credit for time they are present in Canada without being a permanent resident. For example, if they were studying on a student visa or a skilled worker. My feeling is this, Mr. Speaker, if you are a hardworking contributing member of society, if you love this great country as much as we do and want to may take that next step and join us as a citizen, then I see no reason to make you wait so long because you are exactly the kind of person we want to join our Canadian family. With Bill C-6, this government delivers on its promise to restore the integrity of Canadian citizenship and reaffirms our Canadian values of openness, fairness, and equality. Today, we can proudly say once again, with our heads high, held high, that we live in the greatest country in the world and that a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.